The human body is composed of trillions of cells. These cells express different genes that enable them to carry out specialized functions. But how are these genes organized within each cell? Knowing where a gene tends to be present within a cell can give us clues about its function and even the future fate of the cell itself. Recent advances in spatially resolved transcriptomic technologies, including multiplexed error robust fluorescence in situ hybridization, or MRFISH, can now allow us to essentially take pictures of where genes are present within fixed cells. And we can do this not only for one gene or two genes, but potentially thousands of genes. And we can do this not only for one cell, but many thousands to millions of cells. Given this rich data with some clever computational analyses, we can now begin asking questions like, how are genes organized within cells? And more specifically, what genes are located to different subcellular compartments? As a proof of concept, we first sought to focus on a specific subcellular compartment, the endoplasmic reticulum. The translation of genes that encode secreted glycosylated and or transmembrane proteins, collectively termed the secretome, has been shown to take place on the endoplasmic reticulum. Therefore, we have some expectation that these secretome genes should be spatially co-localized to the ER. To test whether our expectations are correct, we combined MRFISH spatial transcriptome profiling with KDEL immunolabeling, which marks the endoplasmic reticulum. We computationally segmented the regions of our image corresponding to the endoplasmic reticulum for each cell, highlighted here in red, as well as the regions outside the endoplasmic reticulum for each cell, highlighted in blue. And we counted how many copies of each gene we observed within each cell's ER and non-ER compartment. We then performed a pairwise inferential statistical analysis to identify which genes were significantly more enriched within the ER compared to the non-ER compartment. As shown in this volcano plot, each point is a gene, and genes in this upper right quadrant are significantly enriched within the ER compared to the non-ER. We then highlighted in red our gold standard secretome genes, which we had expected to be enriched in the ER. And indeed, we see a large number of these genes as being significantly highly enriched in the ER compartment. Further, as MRFISH is an imaging-based approach, we can actually visualize all our identified significantly ER-enriched genes on top of the original KDEL staining image. If we zoom in, we can indeed see that these genes are beautifully spatially localized to the fine networks of the single cell's rough ER network. Having demonstrated that our approach is able to recapitulate the expected known biology regarding the spatial localization of secretome genes, we next sought to explore a less well-characterized compartment, the nucleus. Applying a similar approach as previously, we were able to identify a large number of genes highly enriched within the nucleus. Of these genes, some were long now coding RNAs, which are known to be localized to the nucleus. In addition, RNAs with retained introns were also preferentially enriched in the nucleus as expected. Interestingly, although protein coding mRNAs are translated in the cytoplasm, we identified a large number of protein coding genes to be highly enriched in the nucleus. A number of functions have been proposed for the accumulation of a mature protein coding mRNAs in the nucleus. For example, retention of mRNAs in the nucleus may allow cells to quickly respond to stimuli by exporting these retained RNAs to the cytoplasm to upregulate translation thereby bypassing the slower transcription step. In this manner, scientists, including those in my research team and others, are enhancing our understanding of how subcellular organization relates to cellular function and heterogeneity. For more details on these research findings and more, please check out our original scientific publication in PNAS, also linked below.